Welcome. This is the English news program on Somaliland National Television. I'm Morris Mohammed, and these are the stories making headlines. President of Somaliland welcomes UN Humanitarian Coordinator to Somaliland. Vice President attends the completion event of a new developmental project. Minister of Foreign Affairs meets with his Egyptian counterpart. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silania welcomed a UN delegation at the Presidential Palace. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanio welcomed the UN Humanitarian Coordinator to Somaliland and Somalia, Philip Larazani, whereby the UN Humanitarian Coordinator and the President held a meeting focusing on issues re related to strengthening UN and Somaliland cooperation on furthering the humanitarian conditions. Minister of Commerce Mohamed Abdullahi Umar stated that the government's economic priorities are encouraging UN operation in Somaliland and world participation in Somaliland's development. The minister stated that the president conveyed a message to the world referencing Somalia's contravention in Istanbul and Ankara Accords communique over controlling aviation system. UN humanitarian coordinator Philip Larazani expressed gratitude for the warm welcoming by the president of Somaliland. He stated that the UN will offer a more cooperative and affable support for the government by placing more focus on areas of major concern for the Somaliland government. The UN Humanitarian Coordinator underlined that humanitarian aids provided by the UN will substantially be enlarged, surging as expected to help better the lives of those residents throughout the country in ensuring sustainable food security. Other key government officials speaking at the event reiterated the major role that UN is sought to play in capacity buildings more critical areas of need. Vice President of Somaliland Abdurrahman Abdullahi Ismail Sayli'i attended a ceremonial event commemorating the completion event of recently undertaken project. Vice President of Somaliland Abdurrahman Abdullahi Ismail Sayli'i speaking at the event stated that UNICEF is one of several organizations operating in Somaliland which portrayed greater participation in Somaliland's development, particularly the major role it plays in providing care, improved education service, and awareness programs for children with the ultimate objective of further advancing children's living conditions. The Vice President commended UNICEF for the major steps it took in fostering proper and all-encompassing education system based on the national curriculum. A representative of UNICEF pointed out the underlying necessity of continuing the successive development projects that UNICEF undertakes every year throughout Somaliland, and constructing this and several other compounds will take a significant step in boosting up efforts towards reaching objectives sought. Other keynote speakers at the event urged UNICEF to continue such development steps and place more focus on capacity building for crucial sectors in Somaliland. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Mohammed Bihi Yonis met with his Egyptian counterpart Nabil Fahmi. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Mohammed Bihi Yonis met with the Egyptian Foreign Affairs Minister Nabil Fahmi discussing the strengthening of both nations' diplomatic ties and cooperation on development. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation portrayed delight towards the warm welcoming that the Egyptian government provided for the minister's delegation, reminding the Egyptian partners the historic relationship between both nations, molded by the two countries' economic and political priorities. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mohamed Bihionis, was accompanied by the Minister of Education and Higher Studies, Zemzem Abdi Aden, and Somaliland's representative to Arab nations. The delegation of Foreign Affairs Minister departed to the UK. Director General of SLN TV, Khadar Ali Gas, opened a training workshop for members of SLN TV staff. Director General of SLN TV Khadar Ali Gas stated that SLN TV has made progress in the media service that it provides through better reforms and regulations. The director pointed out that through this and continuous training programs, the television is able to broadcast up-to-the-minute news. 
producing programs kept up with the changing ways of life. The director continued to add that the training workshop for these media professionals will take seven days. Director of the Technical Department for the Ministry of Information, Culture and National Guidance, Ahmed Saleh Banwene, informed media about the major efforts of ministry officials towards ensuring the betterment of media services. That's the end of our news. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.